Welcome to Stretch and De-Stress. Happy Sunday. We're gonna, I'm gonna back on up here. We're gonna get started standing up, okay? So we're gonna just stretch from head to toe. We're gonna do a little bit of mobility work and a lot of breathing and de-stressing the nervous system. So I want you to just start with taking your left hand outside of your head, the opposite side, and just give it a gentle stretch down. Now you take your right wrist and just flex it. And just stay here and breathe. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, take it back up, give it a little shake out. Other side, hand comes to the outside of the head. You have a gentle stretch right here. Opposite hand flexes, take an inhale. And exhale. Welcome, I see some more names popping in. Good to see you guys, happy Sunday. Inhale. And exhale, beautiful. Go ahead and take your left wrist and your right hand, and I'll step back a little bit so you can see me give it a pull up and over. Beautiful, so I want you to stand into your left foot a little bit more, yeah? And then open your body a little bit up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Bring it up. Switch the wrist. Other side. Up and over. Uh, push down into that right foot so you can open up the whole, whole right side of the inhale. Exhale. Look up at the sky. Beautiful. Good. Take those arms down. Shake them out. We're just going to do a little side to side through the waist. Yeah. Opening up through the side of that spine. So much of the stuff we do is in one direction. This twisting from side to side wakes up the little muscles around your spine, massages your organs, gets some blood flowing through the body. Good, welcome everybody. Seeing some more people pop in. Beautiful, take it to the center. Okay, we're gonna do a tricep stretch right here. So left hand comes onto the right elbow. Your right arm is coming straight down on your back. And then you're just gonna pull that hand closer to the midline of your body. Hand down in the middle. Good, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, take that down. Give a little shake out. Shake, shake, shake. Good, other side, left hand comes, right? We're trying to get, ooh, even that just feels tight, right? We're trying to get that elbow towards the midline of the body. Hands touching the top of your spine. And we're just kind of pulling it into the body. Inhale, exhale, pull the belly button in. Good, one more time, inhale. And exhale, beautiful, good. Take that down, shake it out. Good, we're gonna to try to find some balance. If you wanna grab a chair, I'm gonna take a chair just to give you a little bit of a, a cue. So we're, we're just stretching out that quad. So if you wanna hold onto a chair, Go ahead, we're gonna to try to grab that foot. And I wanna talk through this stretch. Okay, so typically when we grab our foot, either one knee is forward or back. You wanna get those knees side by side. And then you wanna tuck that tailbone under. Belly button comes in. Good, so either holding on or not holding on. And breathe. Belly button pulls in, squeeze the butt. We're just getting through that quad into the hip flexor. If you've got tight hips like me, you're feeling this. Good, take that down, shake it out. Other side, bring it up. Tuck the tailbone under. Mm. Beautiful, guys. Stay with it. So even out those knees side by side. Don't let one kind of hang forward or back. Good, beautiful. Three two, and one, beautiful. Take it back to the other side. Again, you can hold on if you want to. Grab that other foot, right foot. And now I'm just gonna ask you to tilt forward a little bit into space and kick that foot back into your hand. Turn the hips forward and breathe. One more time. Ah, good, take it down to the other side. When we find our balance, we work our core a little bit, we get a little bit of core work at the same time. So get that other leg down, tuck that tailbone under, and then just tilt it on forward. 
Good, get into that quad. Turn that hip down, belly button stays in. Beautiful, come on down, shake those out. Okay, let's just do a little bit of inner thigh before we get down to the ground. We're just gonna move our body a little bit from side to side, okay? Little stretch to the inner thigh. So I want your feet to be facing forward. And we're just coming down. We're gonna spend a little bit of time with this just to try to see if we can get any more mobility before we take it down and hold it on one side. So coming on up and down. This is the only time you're really gonna get your heart rate going through this whole section. So go ahead and just give yourself a second here to get your body moving a little bit. Drop it from side to side. Think about sitting back every time, yeah? Good, last four, three, two, hold it on the right side. We're gonna go ahead and take our hands down if we can, yeah? If you can't, you're just coming down to wherever feels comfortable for you. Come on down, and then we're just gonna keep those hips low, and we're gonna walk it over to the other side. Good. Sitting back. Good, walk it back over to the other side. I find inner thigh work is so important for me to do. Good. One more time, other side. Ah, beautiful. Bring it down to the other side, and then go ahead and lift that opposite heel up off the ground. Now, if you've got some mobility, you can drop down, get in there a little bit more, if that feels good for you. Good. You can let this uh, heel come on up. Good, drop it over to the other side, crawl it across. Sit on in, lift that heel up, sit on in. Chest comes up. Beautiful, you guys. Nice work, nice work. Good, we're gonna take it to the center. We're gonna take it for a forward fold. So we've got two forward folds today. This is our first one, our feet are gonna be wide. I want you to think about keeping those heels grounded Go as wide as you need to, to keep that hips, those hips back. And then just drop your hands down, head comes down. We're gonna hang out here for about a minute, okay? So, try to spend some time loosening up. You're gonna feel as your body starts to relax that you're able to go down just a little bit more. Let's work on some breathing here together, okay? So we're gonna count in for three and out for three. Let's go in, two, three, out, two, three. Come on in, out. Good, in for three, two, three. Big breath out, make it loud. Two, three, two more times, in. Two, three, out. Two, three, try to get down a little bit lower. Shake it out. Here we go, last time, big inhale. And out. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna heel toe our feet together. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. And then I want you to roll up through the spine, nice and slow, vertebra by vertebra. Feel it peel all the way up, all the way up. Ah, yes. Have a seat on the ground. I'm just gonna adjust my mat camera angle so that we can all come down here together. Okay, nice work you guys, really good work. Okay, let's start by doing that shoulder, uh, neck and shoulder exercise again. Um, we can't stretch our necks out enough these days, my friends. So we're gonna do it again right now. So left hand comes to the outside of the right right um, head, uh, side of the head, and we're just gonna give it a side little pull. Same thing, this time just pull, on your fingertips, just stretch, walk your right hand out as far as you can, and then just hold it there. Good, breathe. Beautiful, bring it on up. Let's take it to the other side. Down we go. Take those left fingertips out as far as you can take them. You're gonna feel that through your neck. Yeah? Beautiful. Breathe. Beautiful. Sitting on up. Let's get that spine. We're gonna working head to toe each time. 
Left hand comes to the outside of the thigh. I want you to think about your spine. Imagine your spine, and we're not kind of crunching in. We're spiraling through the spine, right? So left hand comes on the outside of the right thigh. Right hand comes behind us, and we're just turning. Using the spine. Close your eyes. Big inhale. On the exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, get long. Exhale, twist. Inhale, long. Exhale, twist. Beautiful. Bring it back through the center. Same thing, other side. Right hand outside of the left knee. Left hand comes behind you. Take a big inhale, get long. Exhale, twist. Inhale, long. Exhale, twist. Empty out the air. Inhale, long. Exhale. Beautiful. Take it to the front. We're going to take our, leave our left foot where it is. Our right foot's going to come out to the side. Great. Okay. So I want you to think right elbow inside the right knee. If this, this may feel, if you're super tight, this may be enough for you. Um, what I really want you to think about is we're not trying to touch the toe with our hand. We're trying to open up the spine, right? So if you're super bendy, this may be super easy for you. For those of the rest of us, not so much. So elbow comes down, and you're just going to focus on opening the spine up towards the sky. Yeah? Breathe. Good. Now, if you want to, you can take that arm up and um, start to reach over, but I want you to still feel like your spine is trying to open up. Breathe. The breath allows us to go deeper. You get long through the inhale, deep into the exhale. Beautiful. Turn towards that leg. You're, now your spine is turning towards the leg and coming forward into space. If you're super bendy and you come all the way down, come all the way down. I'm going to stay right here. Keep that spine nice and long. Beautiful. Bring it on up. Nice work. Other side. Let's go. Same thing, other side. Here we go. Okay, so elbow to knee. We're going to open up. So really focus on that opening first. You can close your eyes. Imagine your spine. The beautiful thing about movement and exercise is when you're, you focus in from your mind, bring that arm up if you want to. You focus in onto the part of your body and you can just, you can literally make things happen with your mind, right? We have super attractor powers, we have superpowers. We can make so many things happen just by what we're thinking. Inhale, exhale. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Last time like this, inhale. And exhale. Good, turn towards that leg. Ooh, that was a good one for me. Just turn that spine towards the leg, right? Spine turns first. Then you come on down. Our body wants to go into autopilot and it wants to help you figure out how to do the exercise the easiest way. And is it always the best way? <laughs> easiest isn't always the best way because you've got to be intentional about it. Good. You fall into old patterns, which are never good. Okay, great. Come on up. We're going to come on to our hands and knees. Let's do some cat cows and then we're going to do some. Um, some thigh openers, which are some of my favorites. We'll get into pigeon. Okay, so cat cow. Inhale as you arch your back. And inhale, look up at the sky. And then exhale as you round and hollow out the belly. Pull that belly up and in. Inhale. Arch the back. Pull the shoulders back and down. Hang out here for a second. Pull the chest through the arms. Exhale. Hollow out, belly in. Pull all the way up. Two more times on your own like this. Ah. 
Think about how grateful your spine is that you're doing this work, moving through it. Think about how grateful you are that has a spine that moves at your will and can do these things for you. Good. Hold it center. We're going to wag our tail. So right feet, feet come out to the right, shoulders come to the right. Feet go to the left, shoulders come to the left. Just go side to side, side to side. Same, hang out for eight, seven, wagging the tail. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Come on up onto your knees. All right, my friends. I think I'm coming over a little bit. Okay, well, let's start with our left side so that you can see me. So left foot comes forward. Right knee is going to tuck, um, right knee is right under the hip bones, and then you're going to tuck that tailbone under, okay? So it's a big difference between doing something that's like a nice deep lunge. We'll get there. Right now, we're going to tuck the tailbone under. You're going to push the whole thing forward. Good. Stay with that. I'm just fixing my angle a little bit. Okay. That's going to give us maximum viewing. <laughs> Okay, so we just push forward. All I want you to do is take your thumbs and hook them to each other and bring it on up overhead. You're gonna pull those thumbs apart. By pulling your thumbs apart, you're opening up your shoulders. Tailbone stays tucked under, right? We're not arching your back. Pull it under, bring it forward. This should feel pretty intense. This is an intense one for me. Beautiful. Good, all I want you to do is come on down. You're going to take your right um, elbow on the outside of the left knee, and we're just going to turn it into a little twist. So I'm going to do this backwards for you so you can see. So elbow to knee, and you're just turning the spine. Okay, turning the spine towards the body. So let me just turn around this way so you can see me. Okay, there we go. All right, turn to the spine. Now I want you to just drop those hips. Hang out here. Breathe. We have four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Let's drop a little bit more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Drop your hands down on the inside of your um, foot and let those hips drop a little bit more. We're just hanging out here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Sit on back. We're going to turn this into a hamstring stretch. So front foot kicks up. Now, you may need to hold on to blocks. This, this may be just enough for you right here. If you can bring your hands down um, and just loosen into it. You don't want to yank on your hamstring. Your hamstring doesn't like it and will respond back with equal force. So just sit on in there, whatever feels good for your hamstring. Feeling good for your hamstring could be a relative term. <laughs> Yeah. Good. Bring it back forward into that lunge one more time. And, and drop it back down. Go ahead and sit back into child's pose. So knees are going to come wide. Arms are going to come long. Rest your head. And we're going to play a little game with me. You're going to do it on your own. On the inhale, you're going to say to yourself, let. On the exhale, you're going to say, go. Okay, let's do that until I tell you to stop. Inhale, let, exhale, go. Relax your jaw. Beautiful. When you're ready, come on up. We're going to do the other side. So right foot is coming forward. Okay. 
even out those hips. Tuck that tailbone under. Okay, this time we're gonna just push the whole thing forward again, staying upright. And if you can, you're gonna clasp your hands behind your back and open up your chest. Good. Another way to do this would be to just take opposite hand to elbow. Okay, we really wanna tuck that tailbone under. Beautiful. If you've got your hands clasped, open up your chest a little bit. Don't let that lower back open up, right? The tailbone stays tucked under, you're squeezing your back. Good. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Come on down. Let's get into a nice deeper lunge, all right? We're going to take the left hand uh, elbow over the right knee and turn that into a twist. Here we go. Ooh, this is a tight hip. <laughs> nice work, guys. We're almost there. We're getting into the part where I, you get to lay on your back and I, I just say stuff to you. Ah, good. Sit into it a little bit more. Open up that chest. Beautiful. Sit on back. Let's get into that hamstring. Ah, okay. So nothing too crazy, right? My hamstring's super tight. I'm a runner. <laughs> So I kind of have to shake this out, settle into it. And then once I loosen up, I can come down a little bit more, but it takes a second. Good breathe. Nice work, you guys. Good, three, two, take it back to that nice deep lunge. Take that foot back. I want you to go ahead and come on back. We're just gonna stretch out the calves. And then we'll be in pretty good shape. We might do one little core thing just to heat up our core before we finish, yeah? So we're gonna just take our right foot back. And all I'm gonna do is sit back into it and get into that calf muscle, yeah? So just sit there, press into it. So push into your hand and get into that calf muscle. Good. Nice work. Other side, sit back, calf muscle. Beautiful. Okay, you've got two options. You can either do a pigeon pose, we're gonna do one minute on each side, or you can do a figure four stretch. So the figure four stretch is laying down on your back. We're gonna end up here anyway. So figure four, you're gonna come on here, yeah? Same thing in the pigeon pose. You're gonna take your foot across and you come on down here. So decide which one you wanna do. We've got 60 seconds of each one, and then we, this is it before we lay down on our backs. So here we go. One minute on each side. In three, two, settle down. Settle down. So when you're doing a pigeon pose, you want to pull that, if you're in pigeon with me, you want to pull that right foot back, or put the, the back leg back more before you come on down to rest. And then I want everyone to practice the let go. And as you say let, as you say let, it's an inhale. As you say go, try to loosen up into those hips a little bit more, yeah? Here we go, a couple let goes, let's do it. Breathe. 10 seconds, two more breaths. Beautiful, come on up and out nice and gentle. Same thing, other side. In we go, get yourself settled into whatever version you're doing. Ooh, this is my tape hip. Come on down, one minute from right here. Make the adjustments as you go along. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Let your breath guide you.
One more breath. Beautiful. If you're not down on your back, meet me there. We're gonna do one little hollow hold, and then you're gonna settle into your first relaxing restorative pose out of two, okay? So come on up, you're gonna uh, tabletop your knees. We're just gonna heat up our core for a hot set, yeah? Lift those shoulders off the ground, pull your belly button in. We're just gonna hold it here. If this feels easy to you, you can go ahead and straighten up your legs. You can lift up a little bit higher for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Hug your knees into your chest. We're bringing our toes together and our knees apart, okay? Our left hand is going to come onto our heart, and our right hand is just going to settle in on our belly. Close your eyes and just breathe. I'm going to read you something. We've been reading the book Super Attractor by Gabby Bernstein together as a group. Um, it's one of my favorite books. This is my second time reading it. And there's a chapter that's called There's More Than Enough to Go Around. I just want to read this to you as we um, are in a time where there is a feeling of scarcity, a feeling of not enough. Um, and what we realize is when we open up and believe that there's more than enough to go around, answers will come to us. So take a big inhale, let it out. Fear of not having enough and fear of not being enough are both major blocks to our super attractive power. Many people suffer from feelings of lack that have been ingrained in them since childhood, or they constantly compare themselves to others and see everything as a competition. So Gabby follows Abraham Hicks. I'm just gonna read this to you. As you sit here, go ahead and straighten out your legs. Face your palms to the ceiling. Settle in. There is a universe of diversity. And diversity means, or, sorry, let me say that again. This is a universe, universe of diversity. This we know. And diversity means plenty to go around and source energy will answer everyone. And it's only in your shortage consciousness where you believe that there is a finite amount of resources that you're squabbling over. The resources that you're reaching for are infinite and your ability to achieve a desire for something means the universe has the ability to deliver it to you with no exceptions. So as we finish up here, if you find your mind wandering, I'm gonna ask you to just say to yourself quietly, there is enough for all of us. We've got one more minute sitting in here. Inhale and exhale, relax your mind. If it starts to wander, go back to there is enough for all of us. Beautiful. Take your knees into your chest. And you're just going to roll it onto 
one side or the other, doesn't matter to me. And gently pull yourself up to sitting. Go ahead, keep those eyes closed, sit cross-legged. Let's take an inhale for four and an exhale for six, two times. Okay, here we go, inhale for four. One, two, three, four, exhale. One, two, three, four, push it out. Five, six, on your own, inhale. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. When you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. All right, my friends, we are done. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all so, so much. Have an amazing day.